careful with that statement because uh, Stephanie Lewis in particular has tried to document you know how the working class has actually voted and of course work some workers have voted for him a lot of them but the fact of the matter is and I, I haven't got into details about her stuff so I don't want to talk out of my hat here but um, <laughs> um, union households have 
voted way less for Trump than non-union households. Mm -hmm. So there is still something to say about the usefulness of union political act, action and, and education to their membership. Because uh, I think otherwise we, we tend to kind of put everything in the same bag and, and, uh, um, and despite the, 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 the historical weakness of the American labor movement uh, in terms of you know, not only density but political position, uh, they still were able to limit the damage in a way. So the question is not necessarily did they do their job, but how can they do it better and more? Uh, or, or going back to a time when they could actually influence more of the working class than they actually are today. But they are still doing some, some sort of, of, uh, of efficient work in that sense. Just, I didn't want to discuss this focus on the US, but just a, a, a comment to follow up on Thomas's comment. My impression is, and I haven't looked carefully enough of the data, is the big issue was not so much workers voting for Trump, though there was some shift, but a lot of workers not voting. Well, not, yeah. Yeah, uh, and because of um, uh, what was being offered them, right, uh, exactly. the side was, uh, was uh, uh, neoliberalism with the social conscience, or whatever, however you want to call it. Uh, it was not an attractive alternative. And uh, so it was very, and, and as well as uh, little, th li not little things, but uh, the Clinton campaign taking for granted certain, uh, well, I think Michigan, Wisconsin, not, not bothering to campaign there. Uh, and so I think, you know, the, um, I mean, one of the, if we talk about the U.S., one of the basic issues is the, the, not just the conservatism of uh, much of the leadership of the labor movement, but even the more progressive ones being so tied to the Democratic Party and tied to uh, illusory, in my view, realism. That you know, if we don't support the lesser evil, we're going to be screwed. But the screwing was going on for decades under Democrats, mm -hmm. as I think everybody here knows. Uh, so, um, you know, I mean, so the question of class independence uh, or having its own political voice is a fundamental question. Um, I won't try to relate that to labor internationalism yet because I'm not quite sure where to go with that in the U.S. case. But, but you know, but, but let me just put on the board. It,